Hey, what's going on guys, JC here, and I'm bringing you guys a really quick video today on how to make your own server pack. So it's, it's a very simple process, but I get the question a lot. So you're just gonna make an at folder. Uh, we're gonna name this um, at test server pack, like you would a normal mod. So inside your at folder, you're going to create an add-ons folder, and you're going to create a key folder. This is all pretty much the same thing as if you're making a mod yourself. So then what you're going to do is you're going to come to your Daisy or wherever you have your PBOs. Um, and then you're going to go to your mods. You're going to go to your steam works. No, I'm sorry. You're going to come over here. Uh, any one of these mods will work. So just open file to explore it, hit okay. Essentially you're just wanting to go to your workshop folder. So any mod that is allowed to be uh, quote unquote repacked, or if you want to make your own mods and have your own mods be a part of a server pack, that way you don't have to update them to the Steam Workshop. That way nobody has your quote unquote mods. You would do it the same way. So for instance, I know for sure um, repack ammo where was it repack ammo this can be repacked so you're going to grab this add-on you're going to come into this this pbo and you're going to drag the pbo into your uh add-ons folder so now that we've got that one let's find another one uh test load jc this is one that i was working on we can drag this over and we can copy that into here um what else can we do? Um, trader fixes and features. This one can be repacked. So we're going to grab this and we're going to drag that one over into here. Let's see here. We're going to go to vanilla road parts pack. We can drag this one into here. You want to make sure you copy it because if you don't copy it, then it's going to break the mods like in your workshop folder. So once you have all of these four, uh, these four mods, we're going to put this into one mod. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your Daisy tools. Uh, you're going to go to your DS utility. We're going to find this folder. So it's going to be at test server pack add-ons. Now at this point, you may not have a key. If you have a key, you're just going to process the files because you know what you're doing. If you don't have a key, you're going to click this little end button. Now, I would strongly recommend you making a folder that you do not delete because you you need this key. If you delete this key, you're the mod screwed. You need you're going to have to do a whole another one. So, I have a folder on my desktop that says do not delete this shit Jason right here. Um that I don't ever mess with. So, authority name. So, let's just call this um test server pack and we're going to create the key. So once we create this key, we can now come here and we're going to go to test server pack private key. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna process the files, which will sign all of these. So now if we come into here, we'll notice that they're all signed. Now inside this do not delete this shit folder or wherever you sent it, we're gonna look for the test server pack by key. So let's come to our key folder. This by key gets drug over into here. You're going to copy it, not place it because you want to always have this key. And then that's essentially it. Now we're going to go to the publisher. You're going to create a new item. Uh, this is a test server pack. Whoops. Uh, we're going to name this uh, I YouTube. Now your mod content's gonna be the same. We're going to come to our desktop. We're gonna to go to at test server pack. You wanna grab the whole folder. So you select the folder. It says mod content structure seems to be valid. All is signed. You would hit I agree. And then you would go ahead and you would publish it to the workshop. So let's just go ahead and publish this to the workshop real quick. We'll go ahead and open it into the workshop and now as you can see it's on the daisy workshop it's going to take a little bit for them to go through and um for them to do their checks the next thing you want to do 
is as soon as this happens, go back to this is a test server pack. You want to re-upload the mod. But in your change notes, you're going to want to do update for meta. Because sometimes the, the Steam Workshop does not um, create a meta.cpp on its first go around. So you always want to just update the mod right away. Update for meta. So let's go to web page. Like I said, this is probably not going to be on there just yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. Let's go ahead and go to my server. So we'll just do it on my server. So we'll go to Steam Workshop. We're going to type in, this is a test server pack. That's what it's called. Let's go to most recent. And here it is right here. So this is a test server pack by Gaming with JC and it says, hi YouTube. So that's essentially how you just create a server pack. Um, creating server packs are good for one thing only. It's good if you have your own mods and you want to put them into a pack that nobody else can like download and re-upload themselves. Other than that, creating server packs, while yes, it may reduce the overall mods like on your server, what it does is it makes people download the same mod over and over and over and it literally just like clogs the hell out of your, um, out of your workshop folder. You know, so if, if say if everybody, even if it's only a, say it's a 50 megabyte mod, but if everybody repacks it and everyone tries to play different servers, they're going to end up downloading that same mod 150 times. The other downside to read packing is if the mod creator updates his mod, you have to update your server pack with the updated PBO. So there's a few little like negatives to it. The only positive really is uh, if you create your own, your own mods and then you don't want anybody else to download and like upload those mods to their server as their own. That's the only benefit of making a server pack. So hopefully this video helped. If it did, thumbs up would be great. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, let me know. You can join the Discord. Uh, there's a link below. I'm very active in there with helping as much as I can. And yeah, I appreciate you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Love you guys.